my favorite guys in the chat here who was kind enough to, to give us the tier two sub. I absolutely love that. So boys, we're ready for some Friday friendlies. It's time. I know people have been looking forward to it all week. I'm going to go ahead and get the lobby set up and we will get this kicked off. Friday friendlies. We kicked it off last week with a team T now versus team smash. Um, and it was a ton of fun. People had a lot of fun with it, so we're bringing it back for another one here in this Friday. Um, no Team T now versus Team Smash or anything like that. We just got a, a group of guys who signed up, just a, a bunch of people who are um, looking to have some fun here on Friday night, and we're happy to uh, be casting their game. And, and uh, you know, it's always fun when you get to get your, uh, get your game casted, so we're going to try to do that as many Fridays as we can. Um... Our first match here is going to be between Water Boys and C3. So I got to go get this lobby set up. Um, what if C3 isn't gold? Um, they, I mean, they, as far as I know, they're gold because they're playing in our, the two of them are play. I believe two of them are playing in our uh, Division 3 match. Or Div Division 3, uh, under the team name C3, so, yeah. Aw, don't cry, Freight Train. You got Friday Friendlies coming up, and you get to play on that in those. You guys put up a great fight tonight. Pulse Games YT got their shades. Thank you very much for hitting the follow button. I'm especially stoked about your follow because you are officially our 90th follower. Ten more, and we're getting to 100. Thank you so very much for giving us that, hunt that 90th follow. It was killing me sitting there staring at that 89 for forever. Way to bring it up to way to bring it up to 90. Spread the word to everybody. Spread the word to your friends. IGL needs uh, 10 more followers, and then we'll be at 100. So let's see. Getting everything set up here. Oh, did I mess this up? Who Genesis was orange, right? Okay. So we need. Who do I have as orange there? Water boys. C3. Okay, name and password, yep. Gonna go ahead and create this, post this in the Discord, and uh, we'll make sure to uh, get this going here. So I believe, um, like I said, we had a pretty good range of skills uh, sign up for this. So we've got C3 is mostly, uh, these are gold players, and the water boys is mostly like plat players. So I gotta let the players know. So they should be uh, joining up here, and if you're just tuning in, um, let me. Actually, I gotta change the. Uh, if you're just tuning in, we just finished up our Division 1 matchup between Genesis and Savage Patch Kids. Uh, if you missed it, that video will be available under our videos section once the stream is concluded. We're kicking. Now it looks like I accidentally hit the button there. Lost you guys. Hit the hit the hot key to get the uh, get that going. So lost you guys for a little bit there. Hit the uh, hit the hot key to switch scenes. Lost you guys for a little bit, but uh, don't worry. We're back here and we're we're getting it going. Um, so we've got our Friday friendlies coming. Okay, so sorry guys, I'm not really sure what was going on there. For some reason, it kept triggering my scene switch key, even though I know I didn't press it. Um, I'm going to go t double check and make sure that there's not like two that are accidentally there. I proved a new quality production right here. Hey man, get out of here. This is, uh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Um, but yes, 
Anyway, what I was saying is Friday Friendlies. They're open to everyone. Okay, all you got to do is follow this beautiful link here. Join our Discord. We post in there signups for Friday Friendlies. It doesn't matter what skill level you are. It doesn't matter if you're participating in the summer circuit or not. All you got to do is join that Discord. You can uh, talk with me, Commissioner T now. You can talk with the players. You get to watch on a regular basis. Talk with some of the guys that are here in chat. And uh, come here, come out here on Friday and get a chance to play with some of these guys. Play, play against them. And uh, just have some fun. So, yeah, Christopher is basically pro. Everybody better get ready for that because uh, it's going to be a good one. Yeah, freight train. Me, the the button switching was definitely the Russians. I've got no, there's no other explanation for it than that. So I see we've got Triton and Crow in the lobby. You need to make sure uh, some of these other guys are come, are filtering in here. Um, okay, let's see. So some of our guys might not be here yet. We may have to. We may have to actually cut out here and take a little bit of a break. Let's see. Let me let me communicate what's going on because these guys signed up earlier. Sorry, folks. Just uh, communicating here to the players. 1v1. Nah. Let's let's wait a little bit here. We've got uh it looks like we have Yeah, I agree with you, Freight Train. Uh well I read your message in Discord. We got a two we got two V two here. Um let's see. Hey, Freight Train, why don't you hop, hop in here? You can play with uh, C3 and Cole. You're going to be on You're gonna be on C3. So if you're hearing that, you go ahead and hop in there, and then let's get uh, – if Brooks doesn't hop in here in a bit, uh, maybe Rube Danube, why don't you uh, hop in there as well and, and uh, give it uh, – yeah, so Freight Train, you go ahead and hop in. Um, you're going to be on C3, and then – Rube Danube, why don't you go ahead and hop in and you're going to be on Water Boys, if you guys can hear me. The lobby info is in the uh, in the scheduling in Discord. Freight trains hopping in there. Let's see if we can get Rube... So we see one, two. Okay, Rube Danube's in. Let's get it going, boys. We got a C3 featuring Freight Train, Cole, 62, and Atomical taking on Rube Danube, Triton 15, and Crow. Um, yeah, that's uh, Silent X Team was going to be on C3, but couldn't make it. Unfortunate, man. Would have loved to have. Uh, have a hedge in here. Maybe next Friday, if we're able to do this, we'll get it going. So, this will be an interesting matchup. So I was, I it was, it was supposed to be, um, so it's supposed to be like three gold level guys versus like three plat level guys. But now we're mixing it up a bit. All right, Freight Train, you just got to see him play on the Savage Patch Kids. He's champ level player, um, and he joined the uh, the gold team here. And Rube Danube is a D2, D3 level player, and he joined the Plat team. So a little bit of a mix-up here, but what better way to do it? Fun way to kick off the Friday friendly. You'll love to see it. These teams are going to be going at it. 
coal and freight train, uh, atomic coal and freight train having a good, having a blast over there, knocking this on in there. Uh, score tied at 0-0. Thank you so very much for everybody tuning in tonight. We are kicking off our Friday friendlies. Uh, definitely give us a follow. If you've got a Prime sub you can use, we would absolutely love to, uh, to have you use that on us. We'd be honored. You can hit the, um, if you hit the sub button and you do sub to us, you get a awesome emote ndgat now very fun one atomical with a great shot on goal here but rube Danube is there to clear that one away what a save called in the quick chat there freight train knocking this one forward now rube Danube flying up as crow uh so the reason this team is called the water boys is because crow um you see his name is vr crow with one of our division one teams is vr and crow is the self-proclaimed water boy of vr he's friends with the guys who play on that team, and uh, he said he's been he's excited to get out here and uh, show people show people what he's got and uh, um, show show uh, show off his skill because he's been hanging out in chat a lot. But yeah, definitely uh, if you like what you see, if you want to uh, get involved and play in one of these games, join our Discord. Nightbot just put the link out there, but if anybody needs me to throw it out there, just let me know. Um, all you got to do to um, play in our Friday friendlies is join our Discord, keep an eye out for the sign-up sheet, and sign up. That's it. So there's no skill requirement, no, uh, no, you know, no, you don't have to be a grand champ or anything crazy like that. Anybody can come and play in these and have a good time. They're just for fun and a good way to uh, get some of your games streamed. And here we go, Rube to Noob, filling in, coming off the bench here, and immediately knocking this one in. Great shot by Rube Danube as he uh, he knocked this one home, carrying that one over the wall. As uh, who we got here? Water Boys takes the 1-0 lead over C3. Um, silent. It will be as many Fridays as we're able to to make it happen. Um, you know, Commissioner Smash and myself, we do have uh, we do have other obligations outside of indie gaming league. So in you know in some instances we may not be able to uh, to to bring it on a Friday, but we're going to try to do as many of these as possible. So far, we've done two weeks in a row here. Normally, we're going to probably try to run it for like two to three hours, usually starting around like 7 or 8 p.m. Eastern, just depending on people's availability. So it's pretty much going to be like, uh, you know, depending on people's availability for the week and, and me and Commissioner Smash's availability for the week, we're going to be looking at doing these as often as we can anywhere from like 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern time. We've got a ball game on our hands here, though, as uh, C3 looking to make a little bit of a comeback here, getting digging themselves out of this one-hole deficit. Blue team threatening here, though. Freight train, though, gets the knock away as he's uh, trying to keep his team, uh, trying to trying to keep his team here in the game. Atomical going forward with this beautiful touch over the middle. Crow though knocks that one away. Great play from Crow. Now Crow and Freight Train going at it. Freight Train wins that challenge and it bounces in. Rube and Hoob not able to uh, get into a position there and. There it is. What I talked about earlier in the stream when he was playing the game, the best, possibly the best portrait we have here in the summer circuit is Freight Train. So I absolutely love when that dude scores. Well done by Freight Train. Again, Freight Train and Rube Danube, the two guys that weren't even supposed to play in this first game, popping up out of nowhere and uh, putting points on the board for their team. Good pass to the middle by Freight Train there, but this one's cleared away by Triton. Rube Danub now coming towards this. Great clear by Atomical. Crow gets a touch on it, and Freight Train flies through the air, but Triton's able to knock this one away. Atomical takes another shot at it. Rube Danub goes for it off the goal. Wide open, though. Cole can come in here and get it. It is just a bit wide right. Defense challenged him there and kept that one out of the goal. Great job from the Orange team. Rube Danub flying in and making a play on it. Everybody misses, but Freight Train is there to knock that one away. Well done by Freight Train. Crow gets a shot at it, but it's off crossbar. Good hit by Atomical as he was trying to clear this one away. Rube Danube with some amazing aerial plays there. Triton coming in to finish this one off is just off the crossbar. Crow, can he do it? Yes, streaking off the side. Great play by Triton to knock this one into the middle, just barely missing it. And then Crow with the timing, knocking that one in. The water boy bringing a 2-1 lead for his team. Well done. Freight Train and Rube Danube going out of here on the kickoff. Rube 
gets this one into blue territory, but Atomical is there to clear that one away. Ball flying forward here as a freight train, and uh, I believe that was Reeb Denu collided midair. Great save there by Cole as the orange team was threatening. 21 seconds left here for C3. Can they make something happen? Freight train with a beautiful save here. Knocks this ball forward. Now Triton 15 coming up on this. Orange team playing it defensively here. Only 10 seconds left. Oh, big. That was an unfortunate miss there by, I believe, Atomic Cole. Now Orange team looking to tack one more on the board. Crow flying forward. Beautiful save by Freight Train. Rube Danube looking to take a shot at it. And this game number one is going to go over the Water Boys. Great play. And huge shout out to Freight Train and Rube Danube for hopping in here. Um, def definitely my bad in not. Uh, not getting the match going here, uh, getting a little bit organized beforehand and making sure people were available to uh, to join the team. So just going to update the uh, overlay here real quick, and then we'll head into game number two. So this is going to be a best of five series, Waterboys taking the 1-0 here early on. And uh, let's see if they can uh, let's see if they can make something happen here in, in uh, game number two. Looks like our players are uh, getting ready here. Solitary and Brooks in Discord. All right. Um, well, I guess Freight and Rube, if you guys don't mind uh, dropping out of here, we'll get you guys in the later game. Thanks for filling in on this one. And we will, uh, yeah, because you, you guys are scheduled to play in the game after this. I'll be smart this next time, and we will, uh, we'll let, uh, let's see, so, oh, they're already joining up. Yeah, just roll with it. Just go ahead and join the teams, and you guys can get it going. I know this one was a little bit uh, chaotic here. Here, I'll remake it. Okay, so yeah, a little bit of a uh, miscommunication here. Huge shout out to Freight Train and uh, Rube Danube for um, filling in here and helping us get that match uh, get that match going. So let's see, we're gonna do three v three. All right, so we got uh, we got the, the players here um, showing up for game number two here. We should have the, the teams as they were supposed to be. Oh, Christopher talking some crap in chat. Hey, I thought Freight Train looked pretty good there, man. You better uh, you better watch out, or he's gonna get he's gonna get you. So we'll just have everybody start uh, joining up here again. We'll get game number two kicked off between the Water Boys and C3. I see we already have uh, Crow joining up here. 1v1. <laughs> I know it's just a joke, man. I'm just giving you a hard. I'm just giving you a hard time. So let's see. We've got people joining up here. Let's make sure we get uh, C3 in here. Triton's in. We've got all of uh, all the water boys. Now we need uh, Solitary, Atomical, and Cole to. Uh, jump in here and so we can get this going here we go apparently c3 rolls in uh, together so we're ready let's roll uh, shout out real quick to solitary refinement as you see his tag he is a streamer twitch.tv slash solitary underscore refinement does some pretty awesome streaming, gives away games. Oh, right off the tip, Blue is going to make it drop. A little miscommunication there by the Orange team. Uh, looks like nobody there went for the ball, and Solitary says, I'll take that. Easy goal, 1-0 here, 4-C-3. Well done. And Freight Train and Rube, I don't know if you heard me earlier, but thank you guys so much for stepping in there. Definitely my bad for just, like, jumping into this and assuming everybody was, was ready. Um, but... Uh, 
Eh, what can you say? I was I was hyped. I was hyped from the first game. I was ready to uh, ready to get the Friday friendlies rolling, and uh, didn't even think to double check here. Brooks with the fly in just off the top crossbar. Good opportunity there for the orange team, but they aren't able to connect. Now Triton knocks this one in front of orange goal, but it looks like a pass to Crow. Well done. Triton comes and hits this one off the wall. Looks for a little bit of aerial touch there, but isn't able to get it. Solitary missing out on it. Atomical knocks this one out. So let's see if Cole can get this one cleared away. C3, I believe. Um, fun fact about this: the three guys playing on this team. So Atomical and uh, Solitary actually play in our Division 3, and they're, they're our number one Division 3 team right now. I believe they're brothers, and I think Cole62 is their dad. So, got a little family connection going on here of uh, the brothers, brother, the, the two sons and the father here playing and going up against the water boys. Pretty fun story. And there we go, Brooks knocking it in, scoring, uh, scoring a beautiful play here. The two, man, the two guys who... Uh, this is a repeat of last game. Uh, a little miscommunication there from the blue team, but a good pressure by Brooks. So just like last game, the two guys who uh, hopped in, Rube Danoob and Freight Train, immediately were the first two to score in the last game. And in this game, immediately the first two to score are the new guys on the block, Brooks and Solitary. I guess uh, in Friday Friendlies, if you hop off the uh, hop off the bench, you're instant offense here because they're already putting up there. Good flying attempt from Crow, but a nice clear by Solitary Refinement. Solitary or Atomical knocking this one forward. Orange team looking to threaten a little bit here. Good pass into the middle, but a great save by Atomical. Blue team looking to get this ball out of here. Atomical goes up for it. Can't quite connect on that. Is knocked away by two members of the orange team. They're bumping each other all over the place. Brooks going to take a shot at it, and it connects. Well done from Brooks. Seen some really great play from him to start here. I don't believe he is in our summer circuit, so it's fun to uh, see him coming out here playing with a couple of the guys. Well, I know... Yeah, playing with a couple of the guys that are in the summer circuit. I know Triton 15 is on uh, Next Gen Esports in Division 2. I already mentioned uh, Solitary and Atomical are our top team in Division 3. Um, Cole 62, VR Crow, and Brooks WRX are the three guys in here that aren't playing in our summer circuit, but uh, they joined our Discord and now they're playing in our Friday Friendlies. That could be you, ladies and gentlemen. All you got to do, join our Discord, which I'll post the link for you. Keep an eye out for the Friday Friendlies information, and you can sign up and be playing here and be getting casted by yours truly, Commissioner T now. That uh, looks a little bit like this emote here. And if you want that emote, hit the sub button. We've got some fun emotes, and uh, hopefully if we can get partnered here, eventually we'll be able to bring you guys even more. So uh, C3 looking to make a little bit of a comeback, but that's not going to help as Crow knocks this one in, showing that he's more than just a water boy. He can bring the offense here, beating Atomical off the, uh, off the dribble right there. Well done on his part. Nice kickoff there. Oh, I got distracted, though. Freight Train with 100 bits. Thank you so much. Propelling himself to the top uh, top of the bits leaderboards. You are definitely one of our number one supporters, and we thoroughly appreciate that. I know Smash and I are uh, always humbled to see when somebody's willing to uh, help out IGL, and, and uh, we're, uh, we're very thrilled with that. But right away, Rube and Noob with the response, good in 100 bits to uh, to get his place and uh, can solidify his place in third there with the 502. He's got the tier two sub though, man. He's uh, he's putting up the numbers for us. Thank you so much, Rube. Appreciate that. Oh, you know what? I, I watched a few videos here. I want to uh, I want to get it on this. Uh, I probably shouldn't try to do this while I'm casting, actually. Because I'm not even looking at the game here. Somebody tell me what's going on in the game. So exciting stuff going on in the game as T now piddles around on the other screen looking at his bits. Um, he can't quite figure it out while uh, one eye's on one screen and one eye's on the other. So he's just going to have to do that later.
<laughs> how old are you? Too old. <laughs> Freight, I said, uh, somebody asked me how old I was whenever I was casting your game earlier. I told him I was 28, but I said you're never too old for video games and to never forget that. So there's no such thing as too old here in Indie Gaming League because uh, you, uh, you're you never too old for video games, so you can't be too old here. Good touch off the wall from Crow. Oh, a miss there, and he's going to put that one in. Great shot. Solitary gives himself the whoops. Definitely my favorite, uh, favorite emote uh, quick chat there. Ah, oh, that's fine if you're older than that fair. Rocket League is life, not a video game. I agree with you on that one. Alright, Orange Team commanding 4-1 lead. Looks like they're going to take a 2-0 uh, lead in this best of five. Um, oh, just barely older than me. I'll be 29 in October, man. People are seem to be super curious about everybody's age nowadays. Beautiful save from... Uh, from Solitary there at the end as the Water Boys take the 2-0 lead. Well done on their part. <laughs> I, I just looked over there and those Dorito emotes are cracking me up. All right. As this is a very, very professionally run stream and there's been absolutely no mess-ups tonight, let me pause for a second here to uh, update the scoreboard because we run a tight ship here at IGL, especially with our Friday friendlies. So 2-0 to the Water Boys, but C3 hopefully going to reach their final form here. They've got all three dudes that uh, initially signed up for it. And check that out. They even have the matching portraits, which I just I didn't notice in the last lobby. Um, well done by them to have a little bit of portrait synergy. Let's see if it can help them get a W here and force a game number four or game number five. Ball coming forward here into blue territory. Missed there by one defender. And then Brooks, who's been putting it in tonight, scores another one. Well done by the orange team to uh, pick up right where they left off and uh, knock this one in. Great play there. I think my favorite thing about the, uh, the Friday friendlies is just the... Uh, I mean, there's no, like, crap talking in the chat or anything, but everybody's obviously a lot having a lot more fun and just, like, chatting with each other a little bit. And uh, that's what we're all about at IGL, man, making some friends, building up a community. Um, these guys are all just out here having a good time, and that's what we that's what we definitely want, uh, want, want to happen here. Atomical flying in with the Reaper dab as the goal. I absolutely love it. Orange team couldn't get coordinated there on the save, and Atomical flies in and makes him pay. Very well done on his part. Oh, that's pretty fun. So I didn't know this. So Solitary just said in the chat that Brooks is actually one of... Uh, I mentioned Solitary has his own Twitch channel. Brooks is one of his followers and also a, a coach for him. So... Uh, Pretty crazy to, uh, or pretty fun to see that uh, that we've got a uh, we're combining communities here. So orange team looking to make a response here as they knock this one into blue territory. Very well done. Let's see if they can get a goal here. Triton knocks this one off the wall, gets it towards Cole. It's solitary with a beautiful save, and then Brooks makes him pay. Good attempt by Solitary as this one was coming in at a dangerous angle and uh, didn't look like. They were, oh, well, they might have had somebody behind, but uh, either way, Brooks puts in another one. I think he's got uh, two, um, well, let's see, he's got two goals in this one. I think he had three in the last one. Nobody from Orange home as Atomical knocks this one into uh, Orange Team's territory. Blue pushing forward a bit here, but Triton 15 comes flying in. I feel like I haven't said his name too much here tonight, but Triton's a... Pretty great player. He's in our Division 2 on Next Gen Esports. They've been a pretty solid team here for us. They've had a difficult schedule, though. They've run into a couple couple very strong teams here in Division 2. I believe they're 1 and 2, but uh, right on cue, Triton 15 knows I'm talking about him and puts up the highlight play. Well done by Triton 15 with his backwards aerial goal. Nice touch, nice control. What a shot. 
<laughs> I need to do arithmetic 101. I'll give you. I'll, I, I may. I may try to try to take a shot at that. You know, that may be. We talked last time about adding in a uh, IGL University with Professor T now. So uh, yeah, arithmetic. That should be one of the basic ones. We were going to do taxes. So that's uh, that's some sort of math. I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure if we're qualified to teach taxes, that we can certainly teach uh, teach um, arithmetic. Cole sitting back here. Triton 15 just knocks it over him. Unfortunately, Cole uh, didn't know he had some time there to come out and knock this one away, and Triton just strolls on up and knocks this one in the goal. Great play on his part. I don't know if you guys saw, so I, I said in, in Discord earlier that I... Uh, I had a bunch of housework to do, and Solitary absolutely cracked me up with... In my votes, one of the best one of the best comments of the year, and said those fire alarms aren't gonna aren't gonna change themselves. I love that. I was not changing fire alarms all day, but I did finally figure out that the fire alarm that was constantly beeping um, was actually broken. So that's why it was beeping. So got it all fixed up. It wasn't a ghost after all. Beautiful play by Triton. Man, all I got to do is say I'm not talking about this dude, and he is just flying in left and right. Great touch from Crow to knock this one forward. Good hit, uh, follow up by Triton to score that one in. Does IGLU have scholarships? Yeah, we're still putting the logistics together, but uh, if we want to attract the top talent, I'm sure we'll need scholarships. So yeah, we'll certainly be working on that, working on uh, getting the funding for that. Brooks with a nice save there as Atomical was threatening in on that. Solitary flying in, beautiful hit off the wall, this ball kind of bouncing, but Crow knocks it forward. Atomical though gets it over the defense, and Blue can beat it here, it's a goal, but no. Brooks getting in there, then getting the demo on Atomical. Orange team regaining control, Triton flying a little too soon that time, but Crow with the fly in is just off the crossbar. Can the Blue team get it out of here? No, Brooks is going to fly back in and knock this one away. Well done here by the Orange team to put the pressure on Blue. Beautiful shot from Brooks. We're really seeing Water Boys uh, put it on here in this game number two, and they're they're looking strong. May take a little break after this one just to confirm that our teams are ready, but I do kind of want to keep this rolling a little bit here. Um, I may let these guys play one more game after this, just if they if they want to, just to. Uh, since I know Solitary and Brooks weren't able to get in the first one, so it seems like we've got, yeah, I mean, we were playing on stream until 9.30, so should have should have time to sneak one more game in after this. Cole with a nice save out of there. Solitary giving chase, deflects it away from Triton. Ball bouncing in front of Orange, goal, but Crow knocks that one away. Well done from Crow. Falls on his back, and then Triton 15 comes and cleans this up. Cole 62 knocks this one forward, but Brooks flying up, getting a touch on it. Nice pass to Triton, who hits this one up. Ball bouncing off the glass. Brooks knocks it into the middle to Crow, who takes a shot at it, and then takes another shot. Good double touch there from Crow. I thought the first one uh, was going to be a little a bit stronger. That's why I thought it was a shot, but it was indeed not. Beautiful save by Atomical there. Crow flying in, but a good save there by Cole to knock this one away. Man, Atomical and Cole, it's getting me confused here on the call, but uh, trying to keep it sharp here for you guys. I love the top hat here for Cole62. Nice, uh, nice sense of style there by this guy. Triton up in the corner, looked to get the aerial tap off the wall, couldn't get it. Crow knocks this one in the middle, but Atomical is knocking it away. Brooks hits it up. Solitary and Atomical miss. Only one man back to beat. Good bump there by Atomical. Can Cole 62 get this one away? He can. Good save there on his part. Now Cole knocking this one forward. Crow with the bicycle kick, styling a little bit. Bumping, bumping and jumping over here, trying to uh, stop them from getting to the ball. Atomical with the demo says, that's my boost, takes Crow out of the play. Good good uh, threatening offense here from the blue team, but not able to make anything happen here. Five seconds left. Let's see if these guys want to do one more here after this. Is it going to drop in the last seconds? No, what a save to get that one out of the way. All right, these guys are up for it, so we're going to do one more here. Bonus Friday friendly game. Water Boys did take the uh, series 3-0, but, uh, yeah, we want to make sure that everybody gets a chance to get out here and have some fun. So we'll do this one, and then we will do one more best of five series after this. 
Um, yeah, so don't make sure you don't go anywhere. Don't tune out after this game. You're going to want to hang around and uh, watch the likes of Rube Danube and Freight Train fly through the air again as uh, our, our second matchup here tonight is going to feature more... Uh, mid to high diamond players as well as freight trains sporting the uh, sporting the champ level gameplay so Cole 62 taking a nap in the goal I'm not sure if he uh, he was just trying to play it safe and wait for the last shot lucky that the orange team wasn't able to capitalize Triton with the fly in beautiful touch and then Crow finishes it off well done from the blue team or I'm sorry well done from the orange team Solitary isn't here. Oh, man. You try to do something nice for the guy and get him in here for one more game. He's joining the match now. And there he is on the kickoff. So we'll just pick up here. Yeah, I think it'll be all right. It is Friday Friendlies after all. Nothing serious going on here. These guys out here having some fun. I'm having some fun with them. Solitary says, sorry, sorry, in the, in the chat. Good save there from Cole62 as that ball was being threatened by the water boys the crow coming in but uh looked like him and his teammate bumped each other a little bit i'm not sure if these guys are actually using voice comms or not so expect a little bit more uh disorganization here but no disorganization there as triton bumps this one off the wall and brooks comes in to finish this one off orange team putting on a clinic out here good play from triton beautiful hit from uh from brooks crow does confirm they are not using comms Man, I got to make sure to be nice to these guys if they're if they can hear me and are listening in on the uh, on the channel. Can't say anything too bad about them. All right, so uh, orange team pushing forward again, looking to threaten Crow getting another touch, or I'm sorry, Crow getting the touch, Triton getting the goal. Well done, nice play. You know, I know it's tough. Like this is a bit of a skill skill gap here, but uh. Uh, you know, we wanted to make sure that the C3 guys could all play with each other, so tried to match them with people that were as close as we could. Um, they were like in the plat 1 to uh, 3 range. And Brooks putting another one in. I uh, looked away at chat for half a second, didn't see what happened, but looks like it was just off the kickoff. You hate to see those bounces coming at your goal. Very, uh, very tough ones to, uh, to, to go experience there. Oh no, another one going in there? Not quite. Brooks, WRX, just got their shades. Thank you so much for the follow, man. And I'm enjoying uh, enjoying casting you, enjoying watching you get out here and play with uh, some of the IGL guys and uh, some of the members of the IGL community here. Appreciate you giving the follow. Thank you so much. Hope, hope you'll uh, tune in here and watch the second game of the series as it should be a fun one. Nice hit there forward by Cole62. Crow comes and knocks this one off the ball wall. But it is, I was going to say, that was a scary one. Solitary almost makes him pay, but the ball is just off to the left. Orange looking to push the counterattack. Crow knocks this one up off the wall. Triton comes in at it, but misses Brooks wide receiver. I keep wanting to say Brooks wide receiver. Brooks WR coming in. Uh, but ball, ball uh, hit out of there by the blue team. Well done on their part to get that ball out of danger. Beautiful hit there from, I believe, uh, Solitary getting that one away. Didn't credit him with a save, but that certainly was a save. Atomic Cole missing that one. Triton taking a shot at it. Good hit there from Cole62 to knock that one away. Now blue team opportunity to push up here a bit as Atomic Cole knocks this one forward. Brooks coming forward off the wall. Doesn't connect on that. Crow, though, knocks that one away. Well done. Crow missing out on this one, though, as the blue team looks to clear this out of the way. Good hit forward by Solitary. Well done on his part. Ball bouncing in front of Orange goal, but nobody home for blue, and Crow clears that one away pretty easily. Now he goes up off the wall, gets a beautiful aerial hit forward, but Cole, great presence of mind to know he needed to come out on that one, stops the shot in its tracks. Very well done. Crow knocking this ball forward, but the ball is... Uh, deflected a little bit but now Brooks regains control on the side beautiful play by Brooks there Atomic Cole got the save but then Brooks with the second touch knocks that one in solid lead here for the water boys they're looking pretty strong here in this matchup um, I need to take that summer circuit thing away since it's not the uh, not the summer circuit I'll have to do that in between games yeah, if you are tuning in here it is not the summer circuit um, this is our Friday friendlies 
What a fly-in from Crow, and what a save from Cole62. Very well done on his part. Nice play there. Tom Cole uh, knocking this one forward here. Sorry, the play from both teams there made me uh, stop mid-sentence. I was just saying this, you know, this is not our regular summer circuit game. On Fridays, we'd like to have an event we call Friday Friendlies. Open to anybody. All you got to do is join our Discord and sign up. Uh, we like to just let people come out here, have an opportunity to... Uh, play games against each other, have some fun, and uh, get casted by uh, by IGL and Triton putting on a show here. So if you want to participate in Friday Friendlies, be sure to join our Discord and get in here and um, make it happen. Get cast by uh, Commissioner T now, Commissioner Smash when he's available. I don't think he's going to be joining us tonight, unfortunately, but join our Discord, get to know the players, get to know me and Smash. We'd love to have you in there and... Uh, join up in one of our uh, Friday friendlies and get your game casted and, and have some fun. Cole with the uh, deflection out of here. A minute 20 left here for the blue team. I would just like to see them net a goal here. You know, I know this is a tough matchup. Beautiful demo over there by Atomical. Solitary comes flying in, isn't able to get there in time as Triton knocks this one forward. Orange team looking for another goal, but a beautiful hit out of there by Cole to uh, knock this one forward. Ball bouncing uh, kind of into scoring position for Blue. Solitary not able to connect on that, though. And now Brooks knocks this one away. Crow giving chase as well, then moves back a bit to grab that boost. Triton touch off the wall. Brooks coming up for it, but Atomical is there to knock it away. Crow gets the touch, but it's a bit wide left there. Now gets one a bit more towards center, but Blue Team is able to clear that away. Come on, Blue Team. 30 seconds. Let's see if you can get a goal in here. Solitary with the pass back to Atomical. Ball bouncing up in the air. Anybody's ball here, but Brooks says, that's my ball. He knocks that one in the center. Crow came flying in. That would have been a highlight play. Just barely missing out on that. Now Blue looking to push the counter attack here. Cole 62 knocking this forward. Good hit there by Atomical. It's on target, but Triton is there to knock that one away. Solitary with a touch. It's drifting in front of the goal. It's bouncing in front of the goal. Blue team put this one in. Atomical, Solitary charging at it. Didn't have the angle or the boost. Good attempt. Triton knocking this forward. Let's see if the orange team can add one in here. No, the ball will drop. Good games from both teams. A lot of fun. We're going to... Uh, get out of here and gear up for game number two um i'm gonna go ahead and just put us on hold here for a little bit and uh let me check with the players make sure they're ready to go and then we will uh kick this off All right, so it looks like our teams are ready here, so we are going to get going. Um, I'm going to put the lobby together, and we will get kicked off here. Let's see who uh, – I need to check the team names here. Let's see who's coming in for C3, we'll say. Whoops, I can't spell tonight. Or press the space button, apparently. Yeah, Solitary, now you know what it would have felt like without a division. That was a tough matchup for you guys, but, you know, you guys played it well. Um, I always think it's kind of fun whenever uh, you get to play against 
better skilled people at least every once in a while you know i don't like getting killed all the time but when we had our uh rocket league rampage events you know i i uh our lan was pretty new i i was pretty new and i got to play against like some plats and diamonds and then later on play with some plats and diamonds and it was quite the learning experience um was a lot of fun to uh get to play with and against those guys and helped me helped me up my game quite a bit to learn uh you know what i could do and what i couldn't do so uh let me change the team names here a bit who's orange tier two. Oh no thought I hit the button again. I might have. We'll see what happens. Okay, that should do it there. <laughs> Ran, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. That, that was my bad, Solitary. I should have checked with the players, made sure everybody was, like, ready to go and whatnot. I just, I was doing it based off, like, the uh, the schedule thing earlier and was just like, ah, oh, it'll be fine. But that was, that was definitely my bad. So thanks for, uh, thanks for running in there and, and making it happen. And, uh, coming out here for the Friday friendlies definitely appreciate that so what do we got here one two three four five six we are ready to go um, teams can go ahead and join into position one ready these guys are all diamond slash champ level play all right and there we go freight train kicking it off well done so uh, we've got a we've got an exciting one here coming at you like I said diamond and uh, Champ level players here in this match, Rube Danube and Freight Train are actually the only two members of uh, this match that participate in our summer circuit. I know, uh, Her I'm just going to call him Hercules. Hercules subbed in um, for a summer circuit game this week, so uh, he's got a little experience in, in the summer circuit. But yeah, fun to see uh, so many people that are uh, new to our community coming out here and uh, having a good time and joining the, uh, joining the Friday friendlies. Uh, Crow, if there's time, then maybe. Yeah, I, I, I kind of need. Actually, I don't. You know what? I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna say maybe because I know I've got somewhere to be here a bit later. So unfortunately, we're just gonna have to cut it off after this one. Um, but maybe next week we'll have a little bit more time and we can do that kind of stuff. Brooks, my friend is grand champ and can one v three me and the people I normally play with. Man, that's absurd. Grand champs are uh, pretty awesome at this game, but. Uh, what do you expect whenever it's the top tier of play there? So, uh, anyway, I got to focus a little bit on commentating this game because these guys are out here working hard for us, putting on a show, and I got to give them the respect here to uh, commentate it. Hercules taking a shot, but Freight Train comes flying out of nowhere to save that. That window closed up in uh, the blink of an eye. Really well done by Freight Train to save that one away. 0-0 zero, zero here. What's the scoop on before Nick? Um, I don't know much about him other than that he's been in our chat watching the games lately. He just recently joined our Discord and he is absolutely hyped about playing in the Friday Friendlies. He's been asking about it up and down the Discord and I'm so thrilled to be able to cast this game for him and get him in here. I know he's out there having a lot of fun. Freight Train though, taking it to the house on his own with a little bit of dribbling, very well done. Uh, great play from him. Freight Train's actually the champ player. I think he's, I don't know if he's champ one or champ two. I can't remember. He might even be higher than that. Um, I'm not really sure, but I know the rest of these guys are in like the D1 to D3 range. So pretty competitive matchup here. Oh, Solitary. That's awesome that Wolf's another one of your followers. I'm glad that we're able to, uh, I'm glad that we're able to do a little, uh, have, have a little bit of your community come out here and join us. Beautiful save from Freight Train and then a great clear from before Nick. Solitary, we should try to do some sort of event sometime of like, uh, I don't know, like some of your followers versus some of the IGL guys. Like we can we can match it up a little bit better with skill division, but that would be fun to to get something going like that. Since it seems like you got a few people that are uh, that are interested in playing here, that would be a fun Friday friendlies. We'll uh, we'll add that one to the idea box there and see if we can make something happen. And I won't make you run into the door and grab your controller to uh, to even play in that one either. <laughs> 
So uh, before Nick could get in the clear away, good touch on his part. Rube to Noob, though, doing what he does best, flying up here. Uh, we've got a Tier 2 in the orange and before Freight in the blue. These two teams going at it. Very competitive match so far. Freight Train with the only goal on the board for uh, before Freight. Freight Train looking to add another one, though, but Hercules is there to save that away. Great play on his part. Now Rube de Noob flies in, gets this one over before Nick. Rube de Noob looking to get a touch on it, tries to fake. Freight Train doesn't buy it, and then he knocks that one away. Good play from Hercules here to come up, gets this one over Nick. Tries to get the second touch off the wall, can't get it. Now C-Bar comes in here. I'm sure, uh, yeah, I know Nick and C-Bar are definitely buddies, rocking that uh, before gamer tag. And I wonder if... They must, they must know. So we've got a guy named Before Zero Results that plays, I think, in our D2. And they must know. They must know him. So uh, glad to see some other members of the uh, Before Tribe are getting in here to play in uh, IGL-sponsored events here. Orange team desperately trying to get a goal in here, but the blue team's defense has been absolutely on point. Here, this is a great opportunity, though. Wolf knocking that one in, doing solitary proud. A solitary refinement viewer right here comes flying in from back in the goal. Puts the touch on it. One to one. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a game and we have a series. Great play coming out here from both teams. Really liking what I'm seeing. And hold on. Right off the tip, Nick pinches this one in. Wolf just scored the goal but gets beat pretty bad there on the tip, unfortunately. And uh, Nick makes him pay. Nobody home for the orange team to uh, knock that one away. You hate to see those happen on the on the kickoffs. Now, two members of uh, the orange team coming up here to try to stop a, a kickoff uh, fiasco from happening again. Freight train flying through the air, getting a couple touches on it. Now Wolf tries to knock this one forward. Bumps uh, C-Bar, good touch, but Nick knocks this one forward and then comes flying up for it. Rube Noob drops it right in front of the goal, but Hercules is there to save it away. I know those two guys have some synergy. They, Like I said, Hercules subbed in. Uh, this week, and he was playing with Rube de Noob. They got the victory, very convincing 3-0. And I know Rube de Noob said in Discord that him and Hercules have like 500 or so hours playing together, or something like that. And they've uh, they're they're very familiar with each other's play. Seabar with a beautiful touch off the wall, but Rube de Noob taking the hit. It bounces off the glass, but Freight Train is there to clear it away. Hercules coming in, Freight Train winning the challenge. Seabar trying to keep this one in orange territory. Ten seconds for the orange team. Let's see if they can make something happen here and get a goal. Seabar, though, knocks this one forward. Now Freight Train's coming to hit it. Gets it off the wall. Tries to get it into the ground, and there it is. Oh, there it is. Yes, there it is. Before Freight taking the win in game number one well done great first game there we saw a very competitive play tier two tied it up but then instantly uh went down there with the kickoff goal but uh hey it was a good competitive matchup they'll bounce back here i'm looking forward to game number two And I know everybody in uh, in chat's ready for game number two. We've got 16 people tuning in. Thank you very much for spending your Friday with Indie Gaming League. This is our Friday Friendlies, an event we're going to run pretty regularly here, open to anybody. All you got to do is be in our Discord and sign up. I'm going to post that for you guys. So join that Discord. You can sign up for Friday Friendlies in there. We put out uh, sign-up sheets like every like Wednesday, Thursday-ish, and then we uh, try to get organized on Friday and just put something out there, stream games, have some fun. Everybody loves being streamed and having their games commentated, so it's a good opportunity to uh, get to do that if that's something you wouldn't normally get. Um, actually, Hercules, Wolf Spirit, Seabar, and Nick don't play in our summer circuit. They are members of the IGL Discord, though, so all you got to do is join, and you can get in here and... Uh, you can get in here and uh, play with uh, the IGL guys and play with other members of the IGL family. And if you like what you're seeing, definitely hit the follow button because we stream games almost every night of the week. We've got a lot of our summer circuit games coming at you. Divisions 3, 2, and 1, all skill levels. Uh, we come out here, Commissioner Smash and myself, cast these games and uh, just have a blast, man. It's a lot of fun. Um, when will the next sign up for like the next summer circuit type thing be? Um, Smash and I are working on that right now. We've got some details to finalize, and and whenever we've got that all ready, we'll be putting out an announcement on it. But uh, 
just hang tight, you know, keep following us, keep hanging out with us, Crow, and uh, we'll make sure to get you that information. It'll it'll be some time in the in the in the coming weeks. I mean, we're going to be working on that stuff. I would say like I would expect to hear something from us in like 3 to 6 weeks depending on what all else we have going on as far as like what our plans are for the next uh, circuit. But the good news is you know, we do have plans for another circuit. We're just working on it, and we're trying to figure out what we want to do. So uh, definitely uh, it's a good time to be joining the IGL family here as we've got a lot going on, and uh, there's plenty for people to participate in. So very competitive matchup going on here. 0-0 zero, zero with two minutes off the clock. Rube Danube gets a touch forward, looks to threaten on the goal, but Seabar and Nick are there. Freight train even lurking there as well. All three members of Blue shutting down that counterattack from Rube Danube. Good attempt on his part to uh, make something happen here. Ball knocked over to Freight Train. Let's see. He goes up on it and then looks to fly in. Nick, though, stuffs him. So <laughs> gives him the sorry in chat there, unfortunately. And uh, just a little miscommunication there by the teammates. Seabar knocking this one out of there. Good save as Hercules is looking to take the shot. Wolf Spirit knocks this one up. Gets it forward. Seabar, beautiful fly in to get that one out of harm's way for the blue team. Let's see what happens here in these last two minutes and 15 seconds. Demo by Hercules there, but Seabar is able to clear that one away and stop the uh, 3v2, brief 3v2. Nice touch from Seabar into the middle. Freight Train was coming in to fly, fly in to finish that one off, but a great hit from the orange defender. I didn't see which one that is, but kept that out of danger. Now Seabar knocks this one forward. Hercules is going up on it. Just barely gets a touch on it off the glass to keep that one out of harm's way. Freight Train trying to make something happen here. Seabar and Nick both going for it. Nick knocks that one away. Well done on his part. Rube Danube and uh, Hercules going forward here, knocking this one uh Knocking this one around. Now Orange Team, great touch by Wolf Spirit, but Seabar gets this one away. Man, this game is tense. These teams are going out. The pinch is just off the corner. On almost a goal there from the Orange Team. Good attempt there. Nick trying to get that one in. Now Freight Train's going to knock this one away. Freight Train dribbling through the mid. Gets the flick over the top. Seabar not able to finish that one off, but a great attempt. Good at passing play there from the uh, B4 members, but uh, now Seabar tries to go in and do it himself. Can't quite get that in. Nix knocks this one into the middle. Ball missed by the orange defender. It's bouncing in front of the goal. Freight train, though, can't get it as Hercules knocks that one away. Great play on his part. Wolf Spirit tries to knock it forward, but uh, pins it against him. Beautiful dodge there by Rube Danube to get that one away from the defender. Then beats Freight Train, but Seabar is there to clear that one away. A flashy play is coming out from Rube Danube. Really like to see that. Well done. Wolf knocking this one forward here. 38 seconds left here. Freight Train uh, gaining control of it, trying to clear this one out of blue team territory. But Hercules has other ideas. Tips this in to Wolf, who's just off the crossbar. Rube Danube gets the touch at it, but it is not quite there. Orange team retreating a little bit, and then Seabar knocks it forward. Hercules going up for it. This ball's flying in dangerously, but Freight Train's there to knock it away. Tries to come down on it to tip that out. Orange team uh, looks to corral it. Knocked up by Hercules here. Fake, beautiful fake, but isn't able to get under it as Freight Train makes the save. Well done. Wolf knocking this one forward. I think uh, unless something happens here, we're going to have an overtime. Great play from both teams. Ball still up in the air, though. But there, it will drop. We're heading into overtime. Um, why do we block the chat? That's just where I felt the best place to put the um, put the logo was. It's not really an attempt to block chat or anything like that. It's just a good place to put the logo so that you guys can see, you know, the the I don't even know what you want to call it, the play-by-play -play in the upper right corner with who's got the saves and shots and whatnot, and then you can see who has boost in the lower right and then the stats in the lower left. So that's the logic behind that logo being up there over chat. Wolf gets a touch on it, but Nick knocks this one away. Hercules hitting the ball forward, ball spinning around. Rube Noob then hits this one up. 
Freight train, though, knocking it forward, gets a beautiful flying touch. Hercules going to finish it off, or I'm sorry, Freight train going to finish it off, but Hercules saving the day, as, as a Hercules should. Hercules is always there to save the day, man. He's a hero. Good hit forward here by Hercules. Ball's right in front of Blue's net, but Freight Train clears away. Rube Danube takes another shot at it. It's off the crossbar. Rube Danube pops this one up again. Gets another touch on it. One defender misses. Freight Train knocks it away. Wolf Spirit tried to get it going there, but it is just a little too high. Tremendous pressure from the orange team. Blue trying to get out of here. Hercules gets it forward. Cleared away. Beautiful uh, clear by Freight Train as he got that one out of the dangerous danger zone. Blue team, a little chance to breathe, a little chance to reset. A minute 20 gone in overtime, and one goal is going to do it. There's ball off the top, knocked away by Hercules. These teams are playing. These teams are playing, showing off some top play here. Very well done. Knocking this one forward here is Seabar. Misses it off the wall. Wolf taking a shot at it. Both members of blue going up. Nick knocks that one away. Ball bouncing in front of the blue goal. Let's see if they can get that one out of here. Nick hits this one forward. Orange going to knock that away. Good hit by Wolf Spirit. Ball bouncing forward. Good hit there by uh, Freight Train to clear that one away. Now Seabar on the chase gets a second touch on it. Tries to pinch it in the middle. It's over Rube Danu, but it is saved by Hercules. Great play on his part. Orange looking to uh, mount up a counterattack here and see what they can do. So Wolf stumbling and bumbling gets this one up a little bit. This is a dangerous ball, but Freight Train is there to clear that one away. Wolf on the recovery here. Barely uh, gets a tap on that. Now Freight Train knocks it into the center. Seabar was there, but a beautiful defensive play. Now Nick takes a swipe at it, but it is wide right. Shots are being traded left and right. Two minutes and 37 seconds gone in overtime. Neither team willing to concede the goal. Both teams giving it their absolute all here. Ball off the top by Seabar. Let's see if anybody can finish it. No, Wolf Spirit knocks that one away. Great play on his part. Now Hercules with the fake gets by Freight Train. Pat taps this one up, but Seabar is there to knock it away. Wolf gets this one forward here. Freight train off the wall. Ball in front of orange goal. Seabar gets a touch at it. This could be it. No, Hercules. There he is. Knocking this one away. Beautiful save. Rube Danu pushing this forward. Nick comes and hits this one away. Now Hercules knocking it forward. Freight train with the stuff. Rube Danu flies in on it, but doesn't get the hit. Freight Train, no boost, looking to knock this one forward. Hits it over the defender, and then Rube Danube demolishes him. Hercules getting this one away. Three minutes and 30 seconds gone in this overtime. Who is going to get that goal? Tension is building. Teams are giving it their all. Man, this is, a, this is a match, ladies and gentlemen. This is quite the match we've got going on here. Wolf knocks this one forward. Freight Train getting it up here into uh, Orange Territory. Let's see if the blue team can make something happen. Put the Indie Gaming League black strip from the top left to bottom right and then just scrap the summer circuit completely. Uh, we might consider doing that. We're kind of kicking around ideas with our logo and stuff. The summer circuit thing up there was solitary refinement was nice enough to uh, design us for that when we were just starting up. So we starting off. So we like to uh, toss that up there. And then as we've been uh, updating logos and graphics and stuff, we're we're replacing them. I kind of like having a logo up there. I mean, just to uh, just to let people know kind of what's going on. And oh, that was a chance by. That is the game. Almost two games worth of time played here with four minutes and 25 seconds off overtime. Beautiful hit there from Nick and then a fantastic finish from Freight Train before Freight takes the game number two and goes up 2-0. What a game. We got at least one more for you here if, uh, before Freight can uh, get the... Uh, or I'm sorry, if, if Tier 2 can get the win here, they will certainly um, push a game number 4 here, which I would love to see because this has been such a competitive series between these two teams. None of these guys uh, on a team together. I mean, I know, uh, you know we've got a little bit of synergy on each side with the before guys playing with each other in the past, Hercules and Rube Danu playing with each other in the past, but uh, they're adding in a uh, third third one in there, so really well done. So good hit there by Rube Danu. Well done. 
but uh, Hercules is coming in to uh, push this one forward here as well. C-Bar knocking that one away. I'm not sure why it tried to uh, block that message, but I'll let that through. Anyway, commentating the game here. Good hit by Freight Train as he knocks this one forward. Nick on the retreat looks to uh, get this one out and over the goal. Good clear on his part, but Hercules comes flying in, and then Freight Train knocking this one away. Good, uh, good clear on their part. My brain is fried after watching that last game. I can't even imagine what these players are going through watching and casting. And Rube Danube says, man, I do this all day. No problem here. A little bit of a mistouch there from the uh, blue team to get that one into the center. But it really just a fantastic shot from Rube Danube to knock that one in. Freight Train going with the sick. Whoops, him, or the moat there. I think he uh, was a little disappointed himself for missing that save, but either way, Tier Two takes a 1-0 lead, and this has been a uh, this has been a defensive battle here. So one goal can certainly do it, as we saw in last game. Great pinch by Nick, but it's cleared away by Rube Danube. Now Freight Train goes and gets the touch off the wall. Hercules knocks that one down, and we are looking to push the counterattack here. A good flick by Hercules gets the mid-air bump. Beautiful play, clearing the way for Rube Danube, but. Seabar is there, and then Hercules follows up, pulled the defense in, knocking that one away. Well done by uh, the dynamic duo here of Hercules and Rube Danu, putting so much pressure on the blue team defense. Eventually uh, led to them conceding a goal, and Tier 2 has come out swinging in game number 3 and takes a 2-0 lead. Well done by Tier 2 here as they were fighting for their, uh, fighting for their lives here in this best of 5 series. They're currently down 2-0 right now. Demo off screen there. Freight Train getting Wolf. A little bit of an opportunity here for Blue, and they make him pay. Beautiful pass. We talked about the synergy on one side. Now we got the B4 synergy coming up here. Seabar teeing it up, baiting the defender and hitting that, and then uh, Nick comes and finishes that one off. All set up by the demo by Freight Train. Very well done from, uh, from the orange team, or I'm sorry, from the blue team to make something happen. Rube Danube uh, coming forward on this one. Now Wolf looks to take a shot at it. Freight Train's there to uh, keep that one on Orange Team's territory. Rube Danube gets the pinch before Seabar knocks that one forward. Nick was flying in. This ball was just bouncing dangerously as everybody whiffing it. Barely getting that one uh, Barely getting that one out of danger. Blue team looking pretty strong here and uh, threatening a lot more than they were early on. Good touch by Nick here as Seabar looks to come up and make a bit of a play on it. It's knocked backwards, though, and uh, Freight coming up here to uh, get the clear on this one. Good hit forward by Freight. Ball uh, cleared by Hercules, though, but Freight grits another touch on it. If Seabar can get a hit, it's an open goal. Can't quite connect on that, and Rube Danube gets that one away. Well done by, uh, well done by Rube Danube to recover nicely on that one. Wolf trying to go forward here, putting some touches on it. Passes it up to Rube Danube. Beautiful stuff by Nick as that was a goal if he did not get there. Hercules now takes a shot at it. This one off the top crossbar. Freight Train tries to clear it away, but uh, gets settles for the demo instead. Nick going up for this. Knocks this one away. Hercules was coming up. A little bit of bumping by the orange team here in the backfield. Rube Danube uh, tries to get this one going, but it's cleared away by Seabar. Now Wolf Spirit tries to hit this one up, but the Before Boys are uh, pushing him around a little bit. Hercules now knocking this one forward. Ball uh, here with an opportunity for Orange to put another point on the board, but they can't quite make it happen. Freight Train goes and snags this one and takes control midfield. Wolf Spirit, though, knocking this one forward. Freight Train demoed Rube to Noob, putting uh, the blue team at an advantage there. Good play on his part as Orange was threatening pretty well there on the uh, on the offensive end. And this shot had a chance, but Freight Train with quite a save. Good hit there from Rube Danoob. Another beautiful save from Freight Train. This dude is all over the place. Offensive end, defensive end, he's doing it all. Hercules trying to knock that one away, but Freight Train powers forward. Gets a beautiful touch in front of the blue goal. Rube Danube, though, with the hit. Wolf had a little bit of a lead, but Nick was in a good position to knock that one away. Well done by the blue team here. Wolf Spirit with the demo on Freight Train, getting a little bit of payback for uh, what Freight was doing earlier. 
Wolf tried to take the touch on it, but Nick stuffs him. 50 seconds to go here, and I think uh, blue team, let's see if they can make something happen. Otherwise, we're heading into a game number four. So here we go as a freight train tries to pressure it up a little bit. 30 seconds to go. Wolf Spirit knocks this one forward to Rube Danube, who hits it back. Orange just wants to pressure as much as they can. They may have a chance at goal here as Rube Danube comes flying across, but it's a good deflection by the defense to knock that one away. Seabar knocking this ball forward here, and uh, freight train coming up on it. Blue team, last-ditch effort here to try to get a goal. We've got 10 seconds left. Nick knocks this one forward, but it's hit away by, uh, I believe, that was Hercules. No, uh, no, I'm sorry, Hercules back there. Seabar, though, gets a touch on it, trying to get this one up in the air. Freight Train's going up for it. Beautiful pinch up by Nick. Seabar gets the tap, oh, but it is down. Tier 2 taking game number 3, and uh, really well done by them. They were down 2-0 in the series. They bounce back. They uh, take game number 3, and we're heading into game number 4 with uh, Tier 2 down one game to two, just picking up the win there. A couple goals is making all the difference in this series. Really, what really great play from both teams. Um, good effort all. Good effort all around. It's Friday friendlies, boys, but it's still very competitive here as both of these teams uh, jockeying for position before freight. Got a 2-1 lead in the series here, but Tier 2 just came storming back in game number 3 to uh, take that match. So Hercules comes flying up off the wall and gets this ball in front of blue territory. Rube Danube gets a hit on it, but it is just wide left. Hercules looking to put the pressure on a bit. Can't quite get it to go there. Nick comes in, ball pinched by Wolf Spirit. Good touch on his part. Seabar now looking to clear this one out of harm's way. Ball is just back and forth here, back and forth. Nick going up for it. Neither team uh, really conceding much position here. Hercules with a beautiful touch, though, but Freight Train is there to knock that one away. As always, Freight Train, the security blanket, stopping almost everything coming at that net. Really well done. Nick elevates to get that one away. Good touch on his part. Now Orange Team looking to threaten a little bit here. Freight Train beats the defenders, gets a touch towards goal, dribbles it up, flicks it up just away off the top right. Now Nick comes flying in. Beautiful tap to the middle. Seabar coming in, but is stuffed by the Orange defense. Great pass and shot attempt there from the before boys, but uh, not quite enough to go in. Freight Train just off to the wide right as Wolf Spirit hits this one away. Nick taking a shot at it, into the, or taking a pass into the center. Seabar off the crossbar. Maybe that's uh, what the C stands for in the beginning of his name there. Is, uh, these guys are um, just looking to get any sort of goal in here. Blue team's had a lot of shots, a lot of crossbar deflections. Good stuff there by Nick. Seabar looking to take a shot at it. Can't connect. Now Freight Train coming up on it. Gives the fake. Passes this one back. Looks like uh, to Seabar. Now Freight Train doing a great job of controlling boost and flying in there. Rube Danube trying to get this one out of here along with Wolf Spirit, and they eventually do. Ball comes out here to uh, Nick, but Hercules getting this one away. Boom goes the dynamite. Not this game. No dynamite so far. This is a defensive uh, power show between these teams. But, oh, Freight Train almost getting the touch. But, Nick, there it is. Blue team. Boom goes the dynamite. Our first goal of game number four here. A lot of pressure from the blue team this game, and it finally pays off as Nick with the beautiful aerial fly-in. The man's been hyped about Friday friendlies all week. He finally gets his chance to shine, and he makes the most of it. Well done by Nick there to get that goal off of, uh, looked like the assist from Freight Train, and Nick comes flying through again. Bouncing this ball up, but here goes Rube Danube doing what he does best, flying through the air. Looked like Hercules was coming in on it as well, though. Now Wolf Spirit. Lucky he got that one in front of Freight Train because he was going for blood there. Wolf was the last defender. Good center there by the blue team. Rube Danube takes a hit at it to keep it over Freight Train. Hercules going to come flying up on this. Ball in front of the orange goal. Freight Train trying to come and get this away, but it's Nick who actually clears it. Errant touch, though, as the ball goes into orange territory, but it is off to the side. No problems there. Wolf gets a good touch at it, but Nick is able to clear this one away. 
Good touch from Hercules just off the top crossbar and can't quite connect. Rube Danube comes flying in, misses out on this. Blue team scrambling. Hercules off the side post. He is hitting all the posts here. He cannot be happy with himself, but he is having some great shots. High pressure situation here, folks, for their orange team trying to tie it up. Ball just bouncing left, right, and top off the cro off the bars. Can't quite get it to go. Blue team looking to hold steady here for the last minute 45 and uh, clinging on to that one goal lead with their lives right now. Good touch from Wolf, but it's cleared away by Nick, and then Rube Danube gets a touch up here. Ball gonna be, was almost hit away there, but uh, Freight Train's there to knock this one away. Now Wolf looks to uh, control this. Gets bumped by Freight Train. He's just wreaking havoc up there. Flying in, looking to get another aerial touch. Rube Danube, then Wolf Spirit. Good bump there. Seabar tried to come in and make something happen, but carried that away. Nick comes flying in. Can he make it two? No. Hercules with the save. A minute left for Orange. They got to push up and make something happen here. Freight Train. Gets that save. Let's see if Rube Danube can come flying up for that. He does get a touch on it. Gets another touch on it. Looking to pinch this into the center. It's a decent ball, but Seabar has got pretty good control of that. Namdurin carries, and you are good to go. Um, I think after this match, we are just going to finish it off, but I do appreciate you... Uh, showing up and letting us know that you're available now hold on the orange team with the miss by the blue defense or was it was it a miss oh rube hit uh just barely missed by nick and hercules gets that one in there yeah namder and we're just gonna finish up with this one i got i got a little bit i need to get done tonight got somewhere to be and so uh unfortunately we're just gonna wrap up after this series is over but we'll hopefully be able to get you in there for our next one uh, got to look at the schedule that will hopefully be next hopefully be next Friday but need to see what uh, me and Commissioner Smash's availability are and out of nowhere orange team down 1-0 with a minute to left puts two on the board Rube Danu with a beautiful touch over the defender just overpowering him as he uh, tries to uh, knock that one away Rube Danu calling for the highlight I think that was a highlight level play for sure I'll see if I can get a smash on the case there to take a look at that one for him Rube Danu with another shot at it but Seabar knocking this one away well done 20 seconds left and now it's the blue team who needs to push up and try to add in a goal here to uh, bring this game tied up for another overtime match if Tier 2 wins this, they will hang on in game number 4 and force a game number 5 after being down 0-2. Reverse sweep incoming, boys. Let's find out because uh, Orange Team looking strong to come back here. Take game number 3, take game number 4, and we have got a fifth game coming at you. I'm hyped for game 5. I know our players are. This is coming down to the wire giving the viewers everything they could have possibly asked for. A full stack of games here. Went down pretty steady in games one and two as before Freight took the first two games. Then tier two came charging back in thrilling fashion in game number four to tie the series up at two to two. You are not going to want to miss what happens in game number five, and we are ready to tip that off players uh lining up on the court here ready to kick it off this has been an absolute defensive battle all night both teams going at it it's only taken one or two goals to win here and these teams are so well evenly matched man we may have to line them up again in a, another friday friendly and make them play because this has been a fun one to cast it's always good to see whenever you get a good competition here. So Freight Train pushing up. Nick taking a shot at it, but Hercules is there. Rube Danube coming in to knock this one away. Beautiful play here from Rube Danube. He gets a beautiful touch in front. Oh, but a great save there by Freight Train as Wolf was coming to finish that off. crossfer has got money on Before Freight. So let's see if uh, it pays off for him as they, as uh, Before Freight did look like the stronger team in games one and two, but tier two came pushing back here in games three and four. Anybody's game here in game number five, 45 seconds off the clock. Uh, game tied at 0-0 right now. Rube Danube knocking this one forward, but Freight Train flying off the wall. Nick with a beautiful shot, and then C deflected by Hercules. Seabar tried to push that one in, was not able to, and now Wolf is knocking this one forward. Rube Danube getting another touch on it. Seabar going up for it, tried to get this one away, but it looks like it's kind of dropping in front of the blue goal, and Wolf finishes it off, making him pay for the defensive error there. Great, uh, 
great play here from Wolf Spirit, recognizing the misplay there and knocking that one in. I guess that's why he's a legend, boys. That's why it says under there, don't call it a comeback. It would be a th reverse sweep. I believe the first we've seen in an IGL stream. I'm not, uh, I'm not counting up before Freight just yet, though, because they've looked strong all night. Freight Train almost getting the touch on that, but Hercules there to uh, push this one away. Now Seabar goes up and knocks that one out. Rube Danube flying through the air, and Freight gets this one away. Hercules spinning a little bit, trying to adjust to get that. Freight Train pushing it forward here, though. Hercules in front of the goal. Rube Danube hits this one up and then hits it out. Good, uh, good ball control there from the Orange team to uh, have the confidence to hit that in front of their own goal and uh, still uh, knock that one away. Really well done. So Wolf goes up off the wall, but Freight Train is lurking for it, and then Hercules clears this one away. Seabar pushing back to try to prevent the counterattack. Misses it up here off the wall, though. Ball bouncing around in front of Blue Goal. They need to get out of here. Freight Train gets a touch. And then Seabar, here he goes, dribbling at midcourt. Gets a beautiful flick. Just missed by Hercules off the top before Nick coming in to finish this one off. Not there. Freight Train going for it. Not there either. Good attempts from the Blue team to put shots on net. Now Orange looking to push the counterattack. A little bit of break in the action just to say that this is our uh, our Friday Friendlies match. Uh, if you want to participate in these, you just got to join our Discord and keep an eye out for the Friday Friendly sign-up sheet that goes out here. And ooh, here we go. Speaking of uh, people who signed up and are coming out of nowhere to play in the Friday Friendlies, before Nick has been hyped up for Friday Friendlies all week, he finally got in here and he's been putting on a good show here tonight. Ties this game up at 1-1. One all you got to do is join the Discord. You can get to know, you know, myself, Commissioner T now. You'll get to know Commissioner Smash. You'll get to know the guys playing in the uh, summer circuit. And you can even come out here on Friday nights and play with them. Bring your friends. We uh, want to hype this up and make it into a, a whole fun thing for everybody. So, and as you can see, these matches can be very competitive as we've got quite the series on our hands. Tier 2 taken on before Freight. This series tied at 2-2 two to two going into game number 5. Dangerous ball in front of Blue Territory, but nobody there to finish it off for Orange. Seabar looks to take control of it, and then Freight Train gets a touch on it. A little bit of miscommunication here from Blue, and Rube Danube makes him pay. You could, he smelled the blood in the water, and knew Rube Danube was going to come flying in there for that. It's just a little bit of miscommunication by Nick and Seabar. Rube Danube able to fly in. No, I am T now, Crow. I realized I said that kind of, uh, kind of weird whenever I said you could meet myself. Commissioner T-Now, Commissioner Smash. I'm T-Now. Come meet me in the Discord. And uh, normally I'm co-casting this with Commissioner Smash, but he is uh, occupied tonight. So you'll hear, he'll hear him on the calls throughout the week. Seabar getting this one away as uh, Tier 2 looks to hold on to the 2-1 uh, lead here. A minute 30 left. This would be the reverse sweep if they can pull it off. Nick gets a good touch forward there, but Rube Danube knocks this one away. Ball still bouncing in front, but both Seabar and Freight Train miss out on that. Great opportunity for the blue team to tie this one up. Good, play, good aerial play there from Freight Train to knock that one away. Ball's bouncing towards the blue team's goal now, though. Good hit from Seabar. Gets that one away. Seabar coming forward here, but it is boomed into the blue team's corner. Rube Danube gets a good touch in the middle. Freight Train knocks this one away. Ball hit forward by Seabar as Freight Train's coming up on this and looking for the center. Good aerial touch. Ball bouncing forward. Looked like Seabar uh, was coming in there, but not nothing doing. 40 seconds left here. Blue team's got to make a play. Almost flicked over there by... Uh, Almost flicked over there by the orange team, but Blue is there to stop it. Now looking for another chance at goal here. Beautiful touch from Freight Train. Drops that back to Nick, but he just can't get that over the defender as I think it was Hercules who came flying in to save that one. Nick with some solid dribbling skills here tries to get this up, but again, Hercules knocking it forward. Seabar passes it across the court. Freight Train going towards it. Gets a beautiful touch on it. It's going towards goal, but Rube Danube is there to save it away. Nick comes in and he will do it. The Friday Friendlies MVP comes in and ties this game up at two with nine seconds left. What a shot. Blue team turning on the pressure, making the plays. Ten seconds left in this game, and if no team scores, we are heading into the second overtime match of this five-game series. 
Hold up now. Blue team pushing forward. This ball is just hanging there, and Freight Train does it. What a play. The blue team storming back. Two goals in 10 seconds to prevent the reverse sweep. What a play from the blue team. Amazing play. Rube Danube is crying. Wow, I am absolutely shocked. Everybody going for it. Ball's up in the air. Orange team needs to keep this one up. Rube Danube gets another touch. Knocks this one forward, but can't keep it up anymore. And before Freight denies the viewers from seeing a reverse sweep. Amazing. Holding on to that. I, I got to give these guys a shout out. What a series. That was, man, that was absolutely amazing. Nick, there he is. You see right here. Been absolutely hyped to play in the summer circuit. Gets his chance and comes out there and makes the big plays. Christopher's money was on before, and it paid off for him. They really came out there for you in the last 10 seconds. Next competition, you and Prim are planning on joining a team. Chaotic and Panther are switching teams. Good to know, man. We'll uh, be happy to have uh, plenty of the VR family in there. Uh, happy to have you guys out here. So, uh, yeah, what a Friday friendly. That game number five, or that that game number two, the five-game series, that was a thriller. Definitely check that out on our video section if you missed any of that. I'm Commissioner T now, and uh, just going to go ahead and do a quick wrap-up here. First off, shout out to everybody who played in Friday Friendlies tonight. You guys put on a hell of a show, and I hope you keep joining us here in the future. If you're newer to the channel, just go ahead and click that Discord link, and you too can participate in Friday Friendlies by uh, keeping an eye on when the sign-ups come out. And uh, all you got to do is join that Discord, sign up on the sign-up sheet. It'll be out every like Wednesday, Thursday-ish, maybe sometimes on Fridays, and uh, we'll get it going. Next week, we're going to resume our summer circuit games, and we actually have a fun little thing going on next week. It's going to be our uh, co-casting week, where we've got uh, some of the IGL players are going to be co-casting with uh, me and with Smash, and we're going to be having some fun with those guys. Freight Train says, Rube is a monster. I agree with that completely, man. He's uh, That dude was doing some good plays, but uh, shout, out to, yeah, shout out to you guys for putting on quite the show tonight, Freight. Freight and new. At Rube and everybody else playing in that last one really well done and the original and the first game too the C3 taking on the water boys great showing there from all those guys really appreciate uh, everybody playing tonight well done um, if you liked what you saw hit the follow button if you really really liked what you saw hit the sub button and help uh, support us help us keep doing what we're doing we're building up a great community of gamers here, and uh, it's all because of you guys. So thank you so much for the support and for uh, always coming out here to watch the games. We will resume games next week. Uh, teams will be scheduling them, and we'll let you know as soon as we can as to when those games are going to be played here on this channel at Indie Gaming 317 on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Give us a follow. Keep up with uh, what we're doing as well as what uh, other members of the IGL community are doing. We like to promote other people's content, and if you scroll below the screen, We've got a list of our partners. Definitely go give them follows, subs, check out their channels. It's uh, it's going to be good. They're putting out some awesome content, and you are not going to want to miss it. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in with us on a Friday night. I'm Commissioner T now, signing off. I'll see you next week for the Summer Circuit.